out there. I uh, just tried it in four wheel drive to see if that will pull me through the soft stuff better, which it does. But then on the big sweeping turns where I can uh, carry more speed, the uh, front end having the uh, four wheel driving gauge, then the front end's pulling and I can't slide the back end around the turn as easy. It's still doing this well the work. Where it's a little damp in the, uh, yeah. in the back in the sweep back, where yeah. I was able to do it. But up here, up here it's just grabbing too much. It's a nice start, but uh, there's a long way to go. Need some more, uh, need some uh, trails through the woods, which uh, they said are here, but uh, just weren't opened up yet. Um, probably because they don't have the supervision to uh, go with it. But the, uh, the wooded trails would make it uh, more friendly for utility vehicles like this, uh, whereas the track is real nice. The, the whole uh, concept of uh, New Jersey having a legal place to ride is fantastic. I just uh, wish we didn't have to drive so far. We're up from the uh, Freehold area, so we had to uh, drive a couple hours to get here. So we're, we're looking forward to the one that's supposed to open up in central New Jersey. Ride nice and cool. It's a lot of fresh track. I hear soft sand. I think it used to be a gravel pit, abandoned gravel pit. And uh, we got a lot of nice turns out there, double and uh, triple lines you can take. Overall, good little course. It's good the state's uh, stepping up and getting their foot in the door. You know what I noticed? There is a burn there. It's right there. Yeah. It's like a little bit out of the way. Yeah, it's way out of the way, but it's there. Yeah.